Okay, hi there. This says a letter, letter of a non-topper in academics to the toppers. Okay, let's see. The first thing I don't like is this, sorry, of, yeah? Because this is of means the possession of, yeah? And this letter is from. Okay. I think I might also want to put a letter from a non-topper in academics to the toppers. Okay, now this word topper. I, I love your use of this word topper. It's, it, it's very imaginative. I know exactly what you mean. You have a problem though. A topper is a top hat. Which also then makes this even more ironic because the boys from Eton, Britain's poshest school, wear toppers. Um, the problem is, if you, if you use this word topper, you're going to need to explain it. And I'm going to change it for the phrase brain box. From a non-brain box, now you don't need to say in academics because this is academics, to the brain boxes. Okay, it makes me sad to cha take out that topper as well because it's so imaginative. It really is. Okay, let's go on. All my life, I will regret not being one of you. I love the first sentence. I know how difficult it is to be an average student, no matter how cool we are. Yeah. Sometimes... I really feel envious of your grades, but that doesn't mean you are superior. Sometimes I really feel envious of. Okay, this feel envious of, it's not wrong, but how cool we are. This is quite informal, what you're putting. Feel envious of, uh, feel envious of is quite formal. I would just put envy. It just makes it simpler as well. Sometimes I really envy your grades, but that doesn't mean you are superior. I know how you show us your ego when we come to you for any academic help and just feel so happy inside for being a topper and start talking nonsense and ignoring us. Okay, this sentence is too long. And it's that you, you've gone, you, you've got into trouble. Okay, let's see. I know how you show us your ego when we come to you for any academic help. I want to put a full stop there. So I know how you show us your ego. The t there are too many pronouns there. Let's see how. Hmm. Let's see. How show us your ego? Let's try something better here. How you let your ego shine? I know. Fair. How you let your ego shine when we come to you for any academic help? It's going to sound better without any for academic help. Yeah? I know why you're trying to put it there, but it just feels better without without the any. Okay, I know how you let your ego shine when we come to you for academic help. Now, your problem with the next sentence here is you didn't give it your next part of it, your and, your joiner. You didn't give this a subject. And just feel happy inside for being a topper. Who? I... You or we. Okay. In English, we need this. So, having read it and thought about it, it's you. We're talking about you, the topper. Okay. So, let's see. Let's just change the and. 
you just feel so happy inside. Okay, th there's a, okay for being a topper and start talking nonsense and ignoring us. Okay, look, this and start talking nonsense and ignoring us is great, but this so happy inside, it's too positive. This sounds like a good thing. Um, you just feel proud, so proud, for example. Okay, uh, inside or. You, uh, the word I'd like to put one of my favourite. Um, there. Yeah. We just see your hubris for being a topper. And you okay this word means pride it's a, a really negative pride word yeah we just see your pride or your pride for being a topper your hubris is a, is a good word and you start talking nonsense and ignoring us okay is it nonsense to you or nonsense to them it's so this talking nonsense is fine yeah, I think I'm going to leave it exactly like that. I know. I've gone through this situation a couple of times, but I've never complained yet. Okay, quite nice. nice. Okay, I know. I've gone through this situation. What's the difference between I've gone and I've been? Where's Alex? He's not here. He's gone to the shops. Where's Alex? He's in his bedroom. He's been to the shops. Go and come back. <laughs> and I, yeah, yes, maybe this situation did kill you, but no, it didn't. So I've been through this situation a couple of times. Ha! Huh. This situation a couple of times. Let's see. You don't need this situation. I've been through this. This phrase here, I've been through, I know, I've been through this. Been th this been through tells you it's a situation a couple of times. But I've never complained. I think I'm even going to put a full stop here. Yet. <laughs> no, I think that full stop's too much. I'm going to put an exclamation mark here. I've never complained yet. Okay. I pity those teachers who even encourage them to get just more grades and discourage those mediocre students with words full of contempt. Okay. I pity those teachers who even encourage them, fine, to get just more grades how do you get more grades? I guess you take get get more grades by taking more subjects. So more no better. And discourage those no us. Well, those is not wrong, but in the context of your letter, us mediocre students. And and discourage us, comma, the mediocre students with words full of contempt. Not everyone has the same mind and thinking. Has the same mind. Let's put that, yeah, hang on, not everyone has... Um, not everyone... thinks the same. Not everyone thinks the same. And people's minds are different. 
Not everyone thinks the same, and people's minds are different. It just sounds better. For those teachers, <clears throat> well, it's the sort of mistake I make. For those teachers, no, two, you're addressing them, you're talking to them. To those teachers, I would like to say, shame on you for being a teacher. Yeah. I don't quite know what to say because the words said above has hurt me so much. Um, words have hurt me so much. One day, the world will come what to know what a medius, mediocre student or a dropout can do. Yeah, everyone has a unique mind and every walking person is a door of education. Okay, I like this finish. I've got one problem with this word walking. Um, because people who can't walk are also doors of education. Um, yeah, we'll talk about door of education in a second. Every try waking person, they use this phrase, every waking person, every person that's awake, yeah? Okay, every waking person is a door of education. Okay, is a door of education. I quite like that. I would may maybe say, we need an, you need an adjective to go with this. Is it an, an open door okay door of education you could say of education I'm gonna say for the educator <laughs> um oh and this topper as well brain box and that actually reminds me I had another really good word for the non brain boxes but I didn't use it I'll put it here slow coach Okay. A letter from a non brain box slow coach to the brain boxes. All my life, yeah, you, you, I think I do need a, a hyphen here. Uh, yeah, that looks better. All my life, I will regret not being one of you. I know how difficult it is to be an average student, no matter how cool we are. R is not wrong. Let's just pep this up. Might be. Sometimes I really envy your grades, but that doesn't mean you are superior. I know how you let your ego shine when we come to you for academic help. We just see your hub we just see your hubris for being a brain box, and you start talking nonsense and ignoring us. This is too yeah. We just see. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going back to your show us. Um. Yeah. We only see, well, we just see your hubris for being a brain box and you start talking nonsense and ignoring us. It's fine. I know, I've been through this a couple of times, but I've never complained yet. I pity those teachers who even encourage them to get just better grades and discourage us, the mediocre students, with words full of contempt. Not everyone thinks the same, and people's minds are different. To those teachers, I would like to say, shame on you for being a teacher. I don't quite know what to say, because the words said above have hurt me. I'm going to lose the said. The words above have hurt me so much. Let's try an adverb. Deeply. One day the world will come to know what a mediocre student or a dropout can do. Everyone has a unique mind, and every waking person is an open door for the educator. 
Yeah, it's a really nicely written letter. Now you're going to want a mark. Um, again, this this is going to pass the Cambridge Advanced. It's not going to pass a proficiency. Um, how about an IELTS mark or something like that? How about an IELTS 8? 8.25 in IELTS. I hope that's helped you. Bye for now.